I got a package from FedEx. Can you guess what it is? Let me show you what it is. A parabolic antenna. So I'm going to try to set this thing up and see if I can get better internet. I bought some stuff the other day that I haven't shown you yet either. I bought a new high gain antenna and um, a Wi-Fi device that I can make my whole RV Wi-Fi. I'm still trying to connect onto the parks Wi-Fi so that I don't have to pay for Wi-Fi. And this thing's supposed to um, hit like a 35 mile range, but I seriously doubt that. But if it gets me Wi-Fi that's actually usable, I'll be happy. There we go. This baby's big. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna set it up at. That's just one half of it. And that's the other half of it. You put it together. And here are the components. Set it up with. And, um, yeah, I had to do some reading up on this baby. TP link. Don't know how all that sets up. Some little box. Yes, it looks like I'm going to have to go buy cable because uh, there's no cable with this thing. All kinds of screws. And I'm not sure that's part of the, yeah, I think that's part of this grid system that goes on here. But anyhow, yeah, I'll build this thing. Learn about it, because I know nothing about this thing. And see what I can do. Okay, here are the specs on this high gain antenna. And you can pause it to read it. Um, of course, I had to go with the 2.4 gigahertz because that's what my system is. And of course, here's the diagram. I have to supply my own pole, which I expected anyhow. Okay, so all these little things, notches, kind of interlock. So I will interlock them, and then I'll screw this thing together. So here's the package of screws, bolts rather, with nuts on them, <laughs> washers. Bolts with washers and nuts. That you just screw into here. I'm just doing it by hand right now. I can tighten them up later. So that's the stage I'm at now. I'm just gonna put all those on and I'll be back. Okay, so I have all these screws mounted and I put them on upwards on this side since this thing's sticking out and the other side of this uh, antenna can be relatively smooth. So now what I have done was this is the feed horn. Get the camera thing out of the way. This is the feed horn. 
and it also gets mounted by the same screws right there. So I will mount it now. I'm gonna wash her there. Once I'm sure I have this all mounted correctly, then I will tighten down all these bolts. Okay, so this part is on. Where did it go? There it is. This part is on. And I have to attach this little gizmo down here. But I don't know which way is which. Does it matter? Does it go this way? No, it has to go that way. I guess I have it right. And then there's a teeny tiny screw. Screw into there. Which I wanted to take a little screwdriver for. Just get it started. And this screw is tiny, so it takes my little smaller screwdriver. And that one I will tighten. Okay, because it's going into plastic anyhow. Okay, so the antenna is now pull out assembled. These are mounting brackets for pole. So I'm not going to take that apart yet. Because I need a pole. Or figure out how I'm going to mount it. And I believe this end probably here if you can see it, it probably pops off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. I don't have any of the stuff I need for that part. What a pain. I tried to order the kit and they were sold out. Hmm. This kind of stuff you can't get at Best Buy and places like that. I can get it at Fry's, which I'll have to go to anyhow to uh, get my connector cord. By the way, I wanted to mention that I ordered this on New Egg, oh, probably about three or four days ago. And they have free shipping on orders over a certain amount. But if you wanted to expedite your shipping, you pay 99 cents for the shipping and $2.99 for a faster handling fee. So, you know, that was cool. I got this thing within three or four days. That's really cool. <sighs> now I guess I have to go drive to Fry's Electronics to get the rest of what I need. Pooey. That's in Houston. Okay, so I have turned that around, my antenna source, and got it on the correct way now. So, and as I said, down here, of course, all these interlink, these little things. And then you screw them down, or bolt them down, and then you set this the correct direction, and you bolt it down to the plate.
Okay, so now my next step is to figure out how to bolt this to my extension arm, my mounting pole, that's what it is. So now I have to figure out how to affix this to my mounting pole. I wish I hadn't lost the instructions, but like I said, they weren't very specific. And I'm really rather confused. And everything is in millimeter, and I had to get the calculator. Because I am American, I'm not Canadian. Or whoever goes by millimeters. Come on, guys. Out, 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 out of the box. I don't know how to mount these little gizmos. These two little gizmos. They're supposed to go on the pole somehow. And of course, this U-joint, which is wrap around the pole, and you tighten it down. Okay, this part was a little tricky because I have this really long pole. And I don't have anybody to help me hold this sucker still. So, I just kind of loosely mounted it. And I will loosely mount the other one. Be right back in a second. Okay, I finally found a position where I could put these things on correctly. It wasn't easy because I have no helper. I do not have a helper. Not even a hamburger helper. So put the washers on here. Put the little scrooby dooby doos. These other little weird things on here. The other one. Oh, dang it! I got the dropsies. Hold on, I gotta find it. Here it is. Okay, put that shooby doo on there. Wipe the dirt off the hands. And then, this other should be do right here, the nut to the bolt, if you can try not to cross thread it, that's a good thing. Oh. Okay, don't look through the camera, there we go. Okay, and then I am using <sighs> my mind is gone. I'm using one of these things to tighten the screws down with. Okay, and that's enough for this portion of the video. Tomorrow we will mount it to this corner of my luggage rack. Cannot travel with it that way, but this is just for setup while I'm in the park. Okay, now I have Wi Fi inside of my RV and it is working.